How to use auto accounting software tutorial for beginners. Hi there, today we'll learn about auto accounting, where this is a comprehensive management software suite that offers various modules for different aspects of business operations, including accounting. The accounting module in Auto provides a range of features and functionalities to handle financial transactions, manage accounts, and generate financial reports. So the first thing that you will be doing here is that you can actually go to your browser and go to auto.com and you will be routed into this page wherein you'll be able to use a lot of features depending on what um, part of the business you want to take care for your account here. So what you can do is you can click on try it now and then you need to choose your apps. As you can see here, what I need to choose is for accounting since this video is about accounting. So for us to build our account for auto accounting, there is a few information that we need to fill out or we need to add here on the auto sign up. So here, once you have the application for accounting applied or added into your account what you need to do first is you actually need to verify your email address where this will be sent to your email and all you have to do is to click on the link that they will send you and then you just need to set up your password so once you're done with verifying your email address for the email that Odo sent to you you can refresh your browser and then you will be able to start managing your business, especially when it comes to accounting. So I'll just refresh my page here since I just finished verifying my email address and there you'll be able to see that it is now verified so what you can do here is there's actually a arrow that will point to how to use it so you can click on accounting for the application that we chose and then here this is the dashboard for your accounting application here on Audu where you can have the customer's invoice you can even create the vendor bills you can even have here the miscellaneous operations your bank and your cash transactions you can definitely manage that here so here with accounting application you will be able to connect your banks your taxes and your chart accounts and they can also modify or configure your accounting periods so here on this top part of the website you will be able to see filters where you will be able to modify which parts are important and you can even sort it by how you would like this to be grouped so here on the dashboard this is what you will mainly see especially when you have the data is already it will definitely provide you a graph as well so here um, next to dashboard would be customers where you'll be able to um, create the invoices and anything that would deal that you need to deal with the customers here for vendor you'll be able to create bills refunds you can set up the payments your bank accounts and for accounting you will be able to create your journal entries, your journal items. You can even do management like automatic transfers, asset, different revenues, etc. For reporting here, you will be able to create balance sheet, profit and loss, cash flow statement, audit reports, where you can have general ledger, trial balance, journal report. And you also have here partner reports, especially when your business is having a partnership or here for management where you will be able to um, manage your um, assets in the business. So here you can even on settings, you'll be able to set the payment terms. You will be able to add a bank account. And here for accounting, you will be able to look into the chart of accounts that you have, your taxes, the currencies that you can modify, payment providers, and a lot more information that you can take advantage here for the auto accounting option.
here so another thing here so let's go to settings and then we will be able to look into the details on how we will be able to begin with or configure our account here so you can actually modify since I'm currently located on the Philippines and it actually in lines to the laws as well especially when it comes to Texas there is different or it varies from different countries as well so as you can see here you are able to modify the colors your interest for that interest and a lot more so you can even have the fiscal periods your analytics your bank and cash informations your reporting and your default accounts as well you will be able to add that here so you can have accounting of imports the taxes that involved in your business you can even add that there and here is your account settings where you will be able to modify on what you need to measure or you are using on your business and you will be able to modify as well on what discussions or statistics and context you will be able to modify that here as well you can also integrate other applications like Google applications for Google Drive, Google Gmail, for example, or Google Sheets, you'll be able to use that here as well. So for example, like this one here, it also allows you to personalize your documents where if you are using spreadsheet or depending on what type of um, software or platform you're using especially when it comes to dealing with um, inputting the data of your business so here we'll go back to the dashboard here on auto accounting and here as well on when i click on my profile in the upper right corner you are able to modify as well the view of your account where you'll be able to change it to dark mode or um, the default mode as well so let's go back to the dashboard and we'll try to upload vendor bills this actually is a sample bill that auto will allow you to experience so that you will know how it goes through so for example you will be able to import the bill so this is the bill that you will be able to see then you just click on next and then after that it will automatically be added into your chart here and then side and then you will be able to compare it side by side from the um, print format and into your auto accounting format as well so that you will have a comparison on what information you need to change and how it would look like here on the actual document so next thing that you can do is you can go to um, bank account you will be able to add a bank account here so that for any transactions you have and any cash flows that you have you'll be able to track that here depending on what bank you are using on what payment method your customers are using for them to send it to you and how you will be able to transfer or where those payments will go or to what bank it will go and that's basically it. once you are able to set up your bank account here you can now start creating or importing your um, information about your business um, especially when you are um, starting business you can definitely keep track your um, data here on auto accounting and that's basically how you'll be able to use auto accounting and that's the end of the video thank you for watching bye